Lieutenant James Reese Europe was responsible for bringing African American music into mainstream American society and was the leader of the first all African American orchestra to play at Carnegie Hall. Born in 1881 in Mobile, Alabama, Europe began to study music at a young age. In 1904, he moved to New York City to pursue a career as a pianist. There he founded the Clef Club, an all-black orchestra and chorus that also served as a union and fraternity for black musicians. The Clef Club gained acclaim after its orchestra performed at Carnegie Hall in 1912. Europe went on to found the Temple Club, another all-black musical group that captivated New York City's social life and invented the dances, the Turkey Trot and the Fox Trot. When the United States entered World War I in 1917, Europe was commissioned as a lieutenant in the all-black 369th U.S. Infantry, the Harlem Hellfighters. Europe was tasked to form a military band of the best musicians he could muster. Known as the Hellfighters Band, they performed to great acclaim for both troops and citizens during the war. Europe credited the band's success to the fact that the musicians played only their own original music, which was influenced by African-American musical traditions. When Lieutenant Europe returned to the United States after the war, he was received as a hero and his band embarked on a national tour. However, before the second show, a band member lashed out in anger over a disagreement and killed Europe. The city of New York honored him with its first official public funeral for an African-American. Europe elevated African-American music as an art form and helped bring it into mainstream American society. His music, inspired by African-American tradition and musical innovation, was a blend of ragtime and early jazz that influenced the evolution of jazz for decades to come. Lieutenant James Europe is buried here in section two.